very bad news when it comes to jobs. More than 66,000 job cuts were announced in the month of July alone. That is a 60% increase from the previous month. John Challenger joins us now from Chicago with more. I guess first question, when you look at these cuts, they are across the board. Goldman Sachs, Merck, uh, Cisco. So truly across sectors. Uh, where were the biggest cuts? What's driving this? Uh, we saw major cuts led by Merck in the pharmaceutical sector, and we know health care uh, is certainly uh, undergoing a lot of change right now uh, with the health care reform out there. Uh, but it wasn't just health care. It really uh, covered so many uh, sectors with big, iconic companies cutting jobs. I guess, you know, so many of us right now are looking towards big corporations that have pretty strong corporate earnings across the board thus far this earnings season to be the job creators that we need right now. Should we be expecting that of these big corporations? Are big companies generally the job generators? No, usually it's small, medium-sized business, business that gets at that uh, creation of jobs by all the ones and twos and tens and twenties that they make uh, as they uh, go out and look for new markets. The big companies, though, right now are, even though they're seeing these uh, uh, big gains in, in uh, earnings, uh, it seems like the environment is very competitive. It means there are winners and losers. Demand seems to be flat, and uh, these layoffs are really, in many ways, reflective uh, of those GDP numbers we've seen now for two consecutive quarters, uh, much less than expected, not enough to keep uh, the job market going. And, and now, as a result, we're seeing uh, visible signs uh, of cuts across the board, not just in autos or not just in housing, mm -hmm. not just in government, but across the board. You're also talking about companies with billions of dollars of cash on hand. So this is, this is the part that so many people struggle with. They've got strong balance sheets. Why aren't they using that money to hire? Um, what is your take on it? What are you seeing? It reflects their um, confidence uh, in the future. Uh, they're looking at their companies. And remember, these are big uh, companies with complex operations. They're going through their companies um, piece by piece and saying, where are we making money and where aren't we making money? And if they're in an area that is losing money, then they're uh, cutting those areas out of their businesses or scaling them back and concentrating on the areas of strength. Put these numbers in perspective for us. I mean, uh, realistically, should this be a signal to people that the wheels have fallen off the recovery, at least from a jobs perspective, or should we not go that far? Because it, this is a huge increase. Well, we're at a, a real turning point right now. We've been through a recovery for two years. The economy came out of uh, the recession two years ago, uh, but uh, it's been a rocky recovery. Three steps forward, two steps back. And in fact, that's been precisely what happened in the job market. Three very strong job months from February, March, and April, and now two uh, really negative uh, job months, very uh, limited job creation and real concern uh, that uh, it might continue. So one picture is uh, we're in this uh, rocky recovery and we're just in one of those retrenchments. But there's increasing concern that the economy may be heading towards recession. Major companies are now making layoffs rather than just holding on to their people. Uh, all of the government stimulus, both fiscal and monetary, now is at risk. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe there's just not going to be enough consumer and business spending to keep this co economy afloat. Looking forward, John, wh where do you think that the job cuts are coming, right? We we've seen very weak manufacturing numbers as of late. Should we be preparing for a big drop off in manufacturing employment in the next round? Well, only if the economy really does uh, uh, fall into recession will we see uh, cuts grow in those sectors that are bearing the, br the brunt of the recession. Right now, the, the, the area we know we're going to see cuts, job cuts, for the foreseeable future is government. Uh, it's been in recession from a job standpoint, uh, even uh, while the rest of the economy has been out. Mm -hmm. You know, as we see job creation numbers, the private sector does add jobs, does create net new jobs month after month, but the government keeps slashing away and cutting the overall number. Uh, that's not going to change, especially uh, with this budget deal. Uh, we know there's only going to be more cuts going forward at the federal government level, uh, especially in agencies, uh, but also at state and local. They have to balance their budgets. They're going to get less money from the federal government. So government, uh, a core uh, job uh, creator uh, and uh, real uh, place where many people make their uh, working lives is cutting back, and that's not going to change.